hello friends in today's video lecture of CAD CAM we'll see a product life cycle now in the previous lecture of CAD CAM we have seen what is CAD and what is CAM which is I mean we have uh, seen the introduction of CAD CAM what are the different types of softwares used for CAD as well as for CAM and what are the different procedures need to be implemented and industrially if you'll see what are all the improvements that also we have seen or we have observed in the previous lecture now i'm completely focusing on product life cycle this is the most important thing now this product life cycle talk about the complete syllabus whether it is in any of the university irrespective of the university it is complete thing talk about cad cam what is cad what is cam complete process comes under product life cycle okay our, our ultimate aim is to manufacture a component ultimate aim of this particular CAD CAM system is to manufacture a component okay manufacture a component that is this is the most important thing to manufacture a component what are the different stages or levels that we need to cross that is our discussion actually now if you consider a product how the cycle is going to be what are all the different levels or steps need to be followed to reach to that particular components manufacturing or a production that is our ultimate aim now this product cycle used to be different before the implementation of CAD or CAM in this particular uh, CAD CAM system okay before this introduction of CAD or softwares the layout or product cycle used to be different for example it all starts with the need of the customer okay for example I want to fabricate a component or manufacture a component why I need to manufacture it all depends on the requirement okay so it used to be start with need of the customer once the need is known what are the different ways to manufacture it or we can manufacture it or we need to approach a company who can do the process that is a question okay so after need of the customer you need to set few dimensions or you need to design your shape of that particular component or aesthetic look of that particular component many other questions in the mind okay uh, you need to talk about the outer appearance and also you need to talk about the performance of that particular component okay whether it is related to automobile or any other aerospace related component okay or maybe interiorly used component it all depends on how it is going to work okay so once the need is known you need to talk about drawing the most important thing is for any manufacturing drawing is the essential thing without which manufacturing can't be processed or proceeded further now to draw any sketch again we used to follow a traditional way okay Tra traditional method or a conventional method you can call that is by using dr drawing instruments okay a table drawing sheet all the drawing instruments and a drafter to draw any sketch okay in such case if you want to make some changes editing is required modifications are required some manipulations are required which is not possible for two or three times to manipulate a design because complete sheet will go so you need to redraw all the things again which is a time taking process okay so storing the hard copy is also a different task okay now in this traditional way there is to draw on drawing sheets okay the drawing sheet sizes used to be a0 to maybe a1 a2 a3 okay so in such cases preserving those sheets is also a very big task storing them all they used to print those sheets by using some am ammonia powder which is blue in color to make a mark on a cloth or else on a sheet of paper that used to be folded and preserved for the future assistance okay where it is not uh, actually right process because the ammonia may spread or the drawing may get spoiled in some long run okay so this used to be done manually then after this procurement of material okay design analysis or optimization or synthesis never used to be done properly in, in traditional way of product cycle what is that analysis or synthesis or optimization of so and so x product can't be done properly okay estimation has to be done it is not accurate okay with some estimation they used to work on drawings with some assumptions they used to go forward okay after this drawing they used to go for directly for production in this production process 
they plan like they plan for materials and they don't know exactly how much material is required for that particular project and they plan for manpower even here also more or less they'll try to pick okay but they don't know exactly how much manpower is required and ag again machine tools or the fixtures or the jigs whatever they used to estimate they also get it whether it is useful to the project or not they used to get it from the vendor okay so once this is done they used to produce the component they used to produce a component for disp and they used to dispatch to the customer okay in producing this component also in the manufacturing process also process planning also or scheduling everything has to be done manually okay there never used to be any conveyor belts to for the component to travel from one machine tool to the next that never used to be there so manually the components are shifted from one machine to the other for the manufacturing sequence and this manufacturing sequence also arranged manually maybe after turning what is the operation going to be performed everything never used to be documented properly never used to be documented authenticatedly accurately that is the main problem with the traditional way of manufacturing once the component is done one component is prepared quality checking used to be performed quality check now this quality check used to be done again manually in the process of doing there might be some manual errors that may create a problem in the real time working of that particular component okay there used to be many problems uh, and one more thing the time when the quality check is done they used to find few defects or few faults that may be a problem again if that is the scenario you can't go back again because the material is already used for it manpower used for it time consumed for it so you can't how can you go to the first step to manufacture again that used to be the problem okay in the quality check they may find some difficulties and if they came to know that the product will not work in the real time then everything is a wasteful work whatever has performed from the past one year or six months for that particular project that might that, that is the problem used to be there okay for after quality checking they used to dis dispatch to the customer this used to be a cyclic process dispatch or shipping i'll put an arrowhead to make you understand properly this is this used to be the process actually okay everything used to be done manually there won't be any software available traditional way of product cycle now with the introduction of cad cam in the market with the introduction of cad cam now whole process got changed completely the process will have complete cad process cad thing and the cam thing in got introduced okay now the process will be something like this it again starts with the need of the customer it starts with the need of the concentrate on few things related to that particular component like what is the design uh, definition what actually we are trying to manufacture what is the definition and what are the specifications or requirements need to be followed okay let us name it as what are the re requirements need to be known and specifications need to be known that study has to be done before you go for any design engineering fine then once this is done the, the next level is all about collecting relevant design information or design data okay we need to collect relevant data or a relevant design data to go further in the project or in the process to go further in the process that data is very much important nothing but a kind of case study need to be performed before we enter design engineering or manufacturing process once, once this is done we can directly go to a conceptual design or a drawing okay conceptual drawing or a design okay that can be done now this conceptual design nothing but we need we used to do in a traditional way by drawing sheet and a draft drafter on all the drawing instruments now this conceptual drawing can be performed by using a simple software called autocad or any other 3d modeling software okay now as of now we are dealing with or we are discussing all about autocad so conceptual drawing can be prepared by using a software called autocad once this is done all the specifications are set to each and every part of that particular assembly or a component now next level is design modeling and simulation next level to that is design modeling and simulation okay this is the next level once the 2d sketches are done we transform that into a 3d model then we'll try to simulate the same whether the things are properly given or not or the dimensions are properly assigned or not will it work to the required conditions or not then again we'll try to do the analysis part of that particular component design 
analysis okay in this design analysis again as we discussed in our first topic uh, we try to analyze whether this particular component will suits to that particular environment or conditions or not whether if required we do some structural analysis or we'll go with some thermal analysis or if required we'll go with some fluid analysis okay there are the different types of analysis we'll perform whichever are required we'll try to perform and we'll try to get the result and again after getting the result we need to evaluate that particular result whether the results which we got are right or wrong up to what extent it is right or wrong okay then before that we need to optimize the model can we optimize the design level okay can we reduce the number of steps related to that particular design or can we optimize in any of the ways where we could increase the uh, maybe like efficiency or uh, kind of design steps related okay design optimization then once the optimization is done again we'll try to do design evaluation now this design evaluation will give you a strong idea or a base that yes this particular calculations related to a component uh, strength calculations or thermal calculations related to the component or the analysis whatever has performed or the drawing whatever has produced is authenticated or not will it work to the conditions or not that is said by the evaluator he is nothing but the person who is having very much experience in the market and in the industry who is already working on so and so things from past many decades okay he is the person who can validate things evaluate things yes again finally he will also estimate some things related based on his experience okay once the evaluation is done the most important point to be noted here is as i said from the traditional way you can't document most of the things and that can't be preserved for the future assistance that can be done here easily without much efforts we can document the model complete design documentation communication can be done complete design documentation whatever the works performed till evaluation can be documented each and every single step each and every single work that has been performed for so and so x project can be documented okay and finally in documentation only we'll try to communicate complete information with the manufacturing system or manufacturer engineer okay we'll try to communicate the same with that particular manufacturer or a manufacturing process so we here we consider this as process planning this as process planning okay here unless you have a design document and a communication unless you have these two communications with the the process planner can't lay his flow chart to get first step we'll try to do production planning okay then design and procurement of new tools maybe for that particular project the tools available with the company or the machine tools available with the company may not be sufficient in such case we need to plan for tools okay we need to plan for design and procurement of new tools or we need to design it or else we need to get it from the vendor if already available in the market okay then again after getting those tools and all again we need to order the required bulk of that particular material required okay then we need to plan for nc cnc or dnc machinery okay for programming machinery for programming this is also very much important so after design process if you could communicate with the process planner he'll estimate all these things process here from here like production planning and tools or design anything required that can be done and he can order his material then again if nc cnc or any other machines are not available with the company they'll try to procure it okay then again after once everything is done everything the company is having everything they'll try to go with production at the final stage they'll try to start production okay once production is done they'll try to go with quality checking if everything is perfect in quality checking or quality control then again they'll go with packing of that particular component or assembly okay again this packing also done with the help of robotic system okay again quality checking is done with the help of software we have a software called i mean many other softwares are available we assist again we'll use the aid of computer that is the reason we call it as computer aided quality control after packing the same thing got 
I mean, we'll send it for shipping to reach the customer. Okay. Then again, if required, we'll go with marketing. Okay. This is the final level. Now, if the component is required to a specific company for their requirement or usage, then directly we'll ship the model. Or else, if it is going into the society, okay, for someone's use, and that can be sent to marketing. After marketing, definitely the reputation of that particular component will increase. Okay, if the product complete product which is coming out of the company is perfect, then the reputation of the company will also improve. Okay, this is how the latest product life cycle after the introduction of CAD CAM in an industry. Okay, it starts with the need and ends with the marketing or shipping of that particular component. In between, as I said, quality checking. This again done with the help of computer aided quality control. Okay, production planning again done with the help of software. Okay, the software is available or my class or my plan uh, softwares are already available. So by using those process planning is done. Production planning like. Production planning nothing but how the machine arrangement should be there in the shop floor that has to be known before we start production. Okay, the machining arrangement is also important and production sequence, part sequence is also important. And if some tools or material is not available with the company, they'll try to get it from the vendor. And some machinery not available, they'll try to get it before start of production. Once the production is started, that should not be stopped anywhere with any of the reasons. Okay. With the deficiency of material or some tools are not available with the company so everything has to be planned before they go for production okay now if you talk about this need and the requirements or specifications or collection of uh, like feasible data and all this all comes under synthesis now we can call this as design process complete thing as design process okay now the this area complete area we can call it as synthesizing area like for example this area this zone from here to need till need requirement and specification and design modeling and simulation complete this area you can consider the dotted lines where i'm trying to give some dotted lines okay here synthesis of that particular component or a model okay then again this area is analysis complete we'll try to analyze complete analysis from here this zone okay then this complete thing is a cam process okay like from the process planning the complete process till packing we call it as cam process from here okay if you are familiar with all the steps then this is all about your complete syllabus okay so the till the design part it covers two and a half units then the rest of two and a half units covered in the cam process okay we are you are going to learn all the steps related Okay, with the introduction of this CAD CAM in the product life cycle, there is a lot of improvement. The improvement, I'll try to make a point. There is a lot of improvement in the market like the products, the productivity will be improved. Productivity got increased and time span got reduced, it got reduced completely and less utilization of manpower, less utilization of manpower. There are many advantages. Okay, uh, wastage of material will not be there waste storage of material will not be there okay and whatever material is required that we'll try to procure not like we'll, we just don't dump the material in the company we'll try to get whatever is required similarly there are many other advantages related okay so the accuracy and precision will also increase so this is the difference between the traditional way and the uh, product cycle of introduction of CAD CAM okay now this is all about product cycle in the upcoming lectures, we'll discuss about raster scan display devices, input devices and hard copy devices. If you have anything to ask, any comments need to be made, uh, kindly check the box given below. Thank you for now.